Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bliss in the Chaos. We are unbagging a shopgoodwill.com bag of jewelry. It's a grab bag of fashion jewelry or something. Um, from Shop Goodwill out of Southern Pennsylvania. This is the second video of this bag. You can catch my first one right before this one. And we are just gonna jump right in and continue to see what we have. Let's go. Why am I so... I moved my light, maybe that's not, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have another bent up bangle for the trash. I'm not keeping those anymore, not even for the craft lot. There's too many of them. Okay, here is a very, very thin leather cord and it's got a cat eye, I think that's glass, pendant on it and it is missing the clasp. And it's tangled up a little bit so I can find a new clasp for that because I like that, that's pretty. Good. Here is a clamp type bracelet. No marking and it's got the nice swirled enamel and gold and ivory and like a coppery bronzy purple I guess color. <laughs> oh that's pretty though I like it. It's just a random ring. It's textured like it looks like glitter but it's just a texture. Size 7. <laughs> These are pretty. Yeah, I need to pull some out for my cover photo. <laughs> uh oh. Say it now. What is that about? Mm, I like that. Okay. Cover photo fun time? All right. Behind the scenes stuff. Anyway, these are very pretty and I like them a lot. I like the shimmer. And of course, it's going to be a New York and Company. Mm hmm. It's usually really easy to spot. This is a really pretty one though. Not though, you know, it's, they have some cute stuff. Just seems like it wears out really easily. A lot of the stuff I've gotten has been completely worn out, you know? Okay. But these are really shimmery plastic beads. They're really fun. That's cute. Hey, a palm tree with a bell. That would only be a little annoying to wear in your ear. What am I helping you with, honey pie? This. Yes, of course. Hang on, I have to help her with her yogurt. Okay, that was fun. Blueberry yogurt is awesome. Okay, here's a little bow with a bunch of rhinestones. Little earring. Here's a drop... Uh, ugh, lost the word. <laughs> Snowflake earring. Very cute. This is interesting. It's kind of busted, though. Like whatever the inlay is, has been busted off of this side here and right here. Here's a made in India little bracelet. Yeah, put it in the free pile. <laughs> oh my, there's gotta be a magnet in that. Look at that. There's gotta be. Come here. Yeah, there's gotta be a magnet in that. So this is a cute little wrapped kind of ivory colored bangle. Watch there not be a magnet. Wouldn't that be funny? So usually these I mean there's a magnet. <laughs> Either that or just the dangles on whatever this is. Have it ridiculously. Oh, let's give me a second. This won't take me long, I don't think. Come here. There. Okay. So this is a funky bracelet. It's got a lot of baubles, big old fake pearl, gold tone, faceted. It's a stretchy, got a key, a heart, this lovely little dangle, this lovely little dangle. It's cute, nice sound to it. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, maybe it's not, it's just a big tangle. You know, I will untangle that later and show you at the end. Cause yeah. <laughs> We've got some more shells. More shells. Stuff in it. There's some little feathered earrings. Those are cute. Five below. 
mini lighted snow globe. I wish that were in there. This is the tag. Morbid metals except no substitutes. And they're like little body jewelry things. Hey, they were like 15 bucks. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, this is cute too. The little adjustable gold tone ring with this piece of glass cabochon. Marielle Designs. Missing the back of that one, but there's those. Fun cluster earrings. This is a little homemade angel pin. It's in that kind of plastic you can weave things through. It's got ribbon. That's cute. It's one of those paper wrap beads. Nice earring. Ooh, my, look at that. This is like a gunmetal color. Swirly, swoopy dangle earring. Very cute. And we got some yellow peace signs. This is a silver tone necklace with keys. Random keys. Very cute. There's a little dangle. Silver tone with purple. There's a Oh, it's an earring. It's a little... Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Blech, blech, blech. <laughs> it's like a gummy bear earring, but the head is the front and the body is the back. That's funny. I was not expecting that. There's a little homemade hemp ring that seems like it would be very... I'm putting on that one. Very... Not really difficult to put on, I guess. It's kind of cute. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, statement. <laughs> All right, so these are like hammered. It's dirty right there. I can probably scrape that off. It's like hammered and it's like a dark bronze tone with copper, bronze, and silver. There's a random feather. Okay, I guess he's not random. Here he is. Yes, dear. The fork or the fort? The pillow fort? Yeah. Oh, don't break it. Help him put it back together. Um, I threw away the twin to this in the first video because it's dirty and gross. And I don't like it. Oh, so this is a very different, not different, I guess, but okay, I'm going to hold it up and spin it. Mm, nice. Okay. That wasn't that hard. But it's got the silver tone chain and it's got some leather braided inside the chain there. And then all these little dangles that are gonna need to be untangled. I have some cute blue feathers, these leather bits, and then some like leaf, hammered metal leaf things and chains. So it'll take me a while to straighten out, but it should be cute. Untangle pile. Okay, I wanna see what this is. Say it now. Sleeping with sirens. Say it all. Say it now. Okay. This is cute. I think this is glass beads. It's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. So these are glass beads. And the little dangle says faith with a music note. That's cute. Looks like we got some. Oh, I was going to say this is an earring, but nope, that's, an, that's not. Ooh. This is a zipper pull earring. And it looks marked. Letter B on it? I don't know. That's interesting. It looks like it would actually work too. Funky. Ow! We got a friendship is magic charm bracelet. My little pony. Is that Princess Celestia? I think so, maybe. And there's Rarity. It's another princess. Fluttershy. How cute is that? Somebody will love that for their little girl. Or, you know, grown adult women who like My Little Pony too. Or bronies. Anybody can love My Little Pony. 
I used to collect them. The old ones though, generation one. I loved those, I had hundreds. And I sold them on eBay. When I was certain I wouldn't have a daughter, now look at me, I've got a daughter. <laughs> Adam, please don't slam the door like that. Excuse me. Okay, so I took that little break in my interruptions and everything as a chance to untangle that little lot of the silver jewelry that I found. The biggest problem was this lovely little fashion necklace. It has a silver toned chain and a billion little baubles at the bottom. My goodness gracious, excuse me. Okay. Okay, but yeah, it's got a billion baubles here at the bottom and they really like to tangle up in those other fine silver chains. But it's cute, so hey, whatever. This one here is just another silver tone chain and it has this little disco ball dealie on the bottom. Then we get into the 925 silver that I found. <laughs> They're in various stages of tarnish, but when I started cleaning them up, they are marked 925, Sterling, Italy, one of them's Thailand, on the chain. And then also this little heart pendant with the swirlies has some marcasite on it. And on the back, it's marked 925. This in its own pile, so it doesn't get wrecked anymore. This one here, 925 on the clasp, on the little thingy here, and then on the charm, which is silver tone with little rhinestones, hearts, and this one um, marked 925. And then this one, also marked 925, and it's got a maker's mark on there, but I don't remember which one that is. Don't remember what that is. And then the, it's gonna tangle again. Then the little tree at the bottom is silver as well, 925. Cute. So I'm pretty thrilled with that. I love that people don't like to untangle their jewelry. They'd rather donate it tangled so that I can get it and untangle it because I love untangling. All right, let's keep looking. Here's a lemon slice earring. It needs a new back. That back is gross. Lemon slice. That's really cute. Uh, here we have a little plasticky, what is that wood? I think it's wood. A little painted wood thingy here. It looks like a hibiscus with wood beads. Little necklace there. Very cute. Here we got another little braided friendship bracelet. This might be glass beads actually. Cat eye, very cute. This is, they got some nice little rondelles. I think they need to be cleaned, but it's an adjustable bracelet. The dangle has a moose on that side and a moose on that side. So whoever has the dangle with a moose, I don't know, but hey. <laughs> Here is another, um, I think I had the same exact one. Huh. Or any very, very similar. It's marked Japan on the backing there. Needs to be clean. Do you want to pee my pants again? You pee your pants? No, I pee my pants. Well, yeah. Yeah. Can you change me? Yeah, I'll change you. Head on, head on out there. I'll be there in just a moment. Pizza earrings. Oh, these are cute. Come on. We've got some ghosts, some ghosts and some little black cats. Those are so cute. Very, very cute. I like those. Here's an earring, red with rhinestones. Here's an earring, little teardrop shape with these big old beads. These are glass. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> Hearts and little oval ones and these rectangles and some fish. And that's a turtle. Gosh, that's cute. That's really cute. Here, this fell out. It's a little toe ring. It's got a ladybug on it. A lot of times these are Mark 925. Let me take a peek at that. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Avon. Avon made toe rings? Huh. Well, I guess. Why not? I can't get in there to read it. It says something in there, but I can't get close enough. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's silver. That's really cute. Little toe ring. Ooh. It's a silver tone chain, or maybe it was gold tone and it's just worn out because, yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, that's cool. That's cool. I was going to say cute and cool at the same time. Cool. <laughs> we got uh, peace signs inside of peace signs. Two health bars. Little earring. Yeah, this is much, this is more modern. This is those weird plastic beads, and this is all just glued together. Wow. And a little chandelier dangle. Can we get that out? Yeah, we can. Come here. Okay, so this one here is a uh, thick leather cord. Fingers will not work today. I am too young for arthritis. Okay, now let's see. Is it marked on the back in here? Yep. ATI China 925. Cool. Well, this finding is 925, and this is a leather cord, and it has this lovely thing on the end. Little medallion. Dirty. Needs to be cleaned up, but it's cute. Okay. Wow. Come on. There we go. That was really stuck. <laughs> okay, so we've got a medallion with a tassel on this gold tone chain that needs to be cleaned up. It is very dirty. With like the single thingy on the end, so it probably does with one of these. Cool. Here's a little black flower stud earring. These guys look like Mickey Mouse ears. So yep, it's Walt Disney World. $18 peace sign earrings. If they are actually what was on this card to begin with. Not marked anywhere else, so I don't know if they're silver, but who knows. No! <laughs> Hair tie. Excuse me. Oof. So fun. Hey, we got the match to that earring, and it looks exactly the same. I think I found it in the first video, but matched. That's cute. Here are some little silver tone pumpkin stud earrings that are very adorable, and I love them. Here's another pin, pin back. Ingenious creator of beauty. Cute, I like pins. These are earrings. Come here, come here jerks. Hey, they're like triangles. And these are just little plastic beads. From homemade, probably. They're kind of cute. I've just been bagging up individual pairs of earrings and in baggies like this for my yard sale. So I'll just keep that one. All right. Okay, it's an angel playing basketball. That's really funny. I don't see a mark on it. You would think somebody would claim to be responsible for this basketball playing angel, but nope. Excuse me. Okay. My goodness gracious. Okay. A small triangle in hell. Should be too bad to get open. <laughs> oh, so the birthday boy has awakened and he is now getting some food and his morning coffee. Yes, my boy likes to drink his morning coffee. <laughs> Which is fine by me. 
All right. This is a weather, a long weather cord with these little hand dealy thingies. I forget what these are, like Bohemian and something or others. With these little hands at the bottom. You probably just tie them together or something. And here with the hair. Okay, it has a lengthener chain on it, just a random chain. And this is an Avon again. It's a silver tone chain and it has this lovely cute little seahorse on it. It's missing one little gem, but I've got one that'll fit there so I can fix it. And I will sell that. People love seahorses. And random extender chain. Ooh, look at that ball. Ooh. That's just plastic, but it's cute. Oh, it's a 1928. You can see the swirlies. The 1928 swirls on the back of that. Cute. We have the match to that one. This is a pear. It's a little plastic pear dangle. <laughs> These are some cute earrings. <laughs> My gosh. Little rhinestone peace sign. A 1964 penny. Cute. <laughs> hey, they're paying me. Here's the back of that earring. I don't know if I can fix it. It's just, it's one of those stupid, like, plastic back earrings. I mean, why do they even do that? I don't, I don't understand. Well, this is like one of those Celtic knots. It definitely needs cleaning. But that's pretty. Little stud earring. Here's a pin. It's like an angel and like a mountain or something. I guess. Huh. Interesting. Plastic stretchy. Gold bangle. In pretty good shape. Based on the ancient Ogun script carved on trees and in stone during pre-Christian times. Celtic astrology in April. Neat. I'll save that for my son. He's got an April birthday. It's <laughs> cute. And here is another lovely little thingy in a bag. It needs to be fixed, apparently. It is a charm bracelet. It's got a doggy on that one. It's got a paw print on this one and a little heart with a kitty cat on that one. Cute. Can fix that. Simple, simple. They're gonna start yelling again. Sorry, guys. I know they're very distracting. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is a stretchy bracelet. It's got some abalone. Ooh, more 1928. See? You can see it because of the specific type of swirl on the back that you'll start to recognize if you don't already kind of know what to look for. And then just to verify, the little taggy on there is 1928. So you see, I'm right. <laughs> That's pretty. I like it. Oh, here's a hmm scarf clip. He's not on. It's not a clip. It's just got a little thingy. So maybe it goes on a bracelet. Yeah, that probably goes on a bracelet, like a leather bracelet or something. Yes, Charlie, what's up? Yes. Can you give me a few minutes? Okay. Okay. Thank you for asking. So nice. Okay. This here is. Okay, this is a plastic memory type bangle and the rhinestones have come out of the channel. I can probably try to fix that. Here's another sandal necklace. I love these sandal necklaces. They're so cute. I've got several 
Got the little rhinestones in it and a little ball chain. Very cute. Um, what's this? It's a J. Johnette. See, JJ. And it looks to be missing something out of there, like a lake or something. It's dirty, I can clean it up and maybe find something, but it looks like Japanese pagoda. And it's got like a satiny cord. It's cute. Let's set it to the side and see if we come up with the interior. And just some neon green studs. This is stone. I can't tell you what kind of stone. I'm still not very good at stone, but it is, um, they're knotted in between and they got this little tassel. No mark on it or anything, but that's super fun. That is fun. I like that. Another stretchy bracelet. Little rhinestones all over. It's missing one there. I've got one that size, I'm sure. I can fix that. It's so easy. This is a pin back. Big rose. Cute. I think we can finish up with whatever I get out of here. It's going to take like the rest of the thing out. Okay. So we'll do this pile and then we'll, we'll go ahead and stop for the day. Let's see what littles we get out of here. I keep saying it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, we went camping as a family this past weekend. It went pretty well. The weather was very agreeable. It rained a teeny tiny bit one day, just one day. And it was kind of cloudy and humid and stuff for that day, but it wasn't too bad. We went and drove across the Mackinac Bridge because my boys had never done that before. I think they thought it was pretty cool. At least I hope they did. <laughs> I always think it's cool. I've only done it a few times in my life. We didn't spend a lot of time over the bridge and we didn't go to the island or anything because I personally kind of think the island is a bit boring for kids. More like shops and exploring is more fun for adults. In my opinion, <laughs> which is only my opinion. And I'm just trying to make conversation. So, hey, you ever been to Mackinac Island? Any of you? You can get the fudge on the mainland. You don't have to go to the island to get Mackinac Island fudge. <laughs> oh, I do love fudge, but it's so expensive. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. And knowing my luck, since there aren't any vehicles, no cars allowed on the island, they go around, everything gets carted around by horse, and there's usually a lot of, not a lot, because they're pretty good at cleaning it up quickly, um, horse droppings in the road, and knowing my luck, my children would immediately step in the droppings and fall in the droppings and <laughs> get manure all over them. And I hate manure. <laughs> okay, what the heck. This one. This is fun, guys. I hope you like watching me do this because it's so fun. Okay, that. That. This. Okay. Oof. Oh, we have an earring in here. Wow. <laughs> It is a good thing I like to untangle stuff, right? Totally. This is cute, too. This is really cute. Anyway, look at this earring we got. Look at all these little dangles and the stripe beads at the bottom. Oh, it's cute. But it is stuck like heck on this necklace. And the necklace is one of those wire necklaces, coated wire. And then it seems I've got a little gold tone chain in here, too. I'll untangle that later. You don't have to watch me. This is some awareness C and an, an awareness ribbon, but it doesn't say what, which awareness. So I guess it could be any. It's on a brown leather adjustable cord. Here we have another of those fun glitter bracelets. Here is a smaller type bangly, I think it's an earring, 
Yeah, it's got this drop pink ball and it's got a hook earring in it. Then we've got a, hey, that came out. Another little necklace. It's got a cotton chain or a cotton cord and then a glass little bauble. And then we've got this gunmetal gray necklace, which is made in China. It just has a little rose and it's attached to this one, which is a fun necklace as well. And I'll untangle that later too. And then of course we've got a little fun blue cord. Cute. And then the little thingies we've got in this pile include, this must have been part of a it's got the holes for a stretch bracelet, and it looks like the red hat. Then we've got a peach earring. A peach or an orange, I guess, with a little leaf on it. We've got a black peace sign, an earring back. I have a half slice of lemon. <laughs> so cute. Here is a verdigreed to heck silver tone hoop. Another earring back. Here's a piece off of something. Here is a teeny tiny anchor. I love it. And then here's one of those fun sharks that looks like it's biting your earlobe. Like that. I love it. Oh, that's so fun. I love it so much. So this will go over in bits and pieces. And then this one will go in the clean area. All right, so we did it, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again and sitting patiently through all of my interruptions and everything else that I was doing today. And I hope to see you next time when we go through a little bit more of this bag. See ya. Bye-bye.